with almost few days um, or few hours left before the trade fair officially winds up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Welle. Yes, this is the Gambia National Petroleum and the, the spare parts section. As you know, our name describes it. We are the National Petroleum Company. We deal in petroleum. As, uh, as you know, we are opening uh, service stations across the country. And in these service stations, we have spare parts sections uh, in all of them. And mostly, we are, we are dealing with petroleum. But as you know, we, we're dealing with spare parts, but general spare parts. That is lubricants, tires, batteries, you know, spark plugs, and, 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 and so forth. Well, that was Keba Sisi. Um, now, I'm now going to move on to his, his colleague, uh, that is Fatu Bojan. Uh, we'll be talking in, the Mande, uh, in Mandenka for the benefit of um, our local uh, listeners or audience. Um, Fatu, um, sign Molbe Gambia National Petroleum Company, Etebedo Kanjele, a trade fair dung Akana Bane, but a Dolba Mira Kampur ya Ede, a day sold in a penke kapu. Ede trade fair in Yadele, Altola Carola. A Baraka Baki trade fair in Yadina Ming, a Betiata Fukabang, a tart, Tatanyami, Pata Kuta, and Tatanyami. Until the Gambia National Petroleum Commolk Tenti, Inca Tulol Lewafi, Masin Tulol, Mianco Motol. Motor han mi built a BBB la 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 fang nga tulo sotole. Ike ye sa jeno ko nga motor engine oil sotole nga battery sol sotole. About 200 amps sotole. 80 amps bijang. 60 amps will be bijang. Nga tulo soto in big size like four liters or one liters. Wolem petrol ti. Nga diesel soto also in four liters. Four liters also in diesel ti, but with different categories. Like a big drum sol fana sotole in. Li, uh, quantities of liters. So, ni mo mo lafta purka tulukendo wasang. In GNPC, we are talking of quality. Nka quality lefo. Welcome back again to the Super Slicer Man. Um, as you know him, Joe, he is always um, eager to come on TV because he knows the value of the TV um, in selling um, his products here. Um, the Super Slicer, well, it's still selling like hotcakes, but there is another new product that He's also come up with this this is called Joel Pillar. It's going to be a demonstration, just like always, as he always um, does it here at the Super Slicer um, Center, here at the Trade Fair in the Union Stadium. Joe, without much ado, tell us a bit about the Super Slicer before, uh, sorry, the Joe Pillar before we go into the demo. Okay, the Joe Pillar is also part of a kitchen product that you can use for food, if it's the potatoes, anything you want to peel for example pineapples it depends on how you want to use it in your kitchen let me show you how to use the pillar the white one is the main pillar in the set it's just a set of three pieces whenever you want to use the pillar you can use it for example on potatoes if you hold it like this you can peel very easy and very fast as you can see here without wasting your food it does not waste eh, your time in the kitchen after peeling you can also remove all the dead spots eh? For example, you have peeled your, uh, your potato, has dead spots, you can just remove them like this. You can also use the same blade whenever you want to slice. It's very easy for you to slice uh, your potatoes for potato crisps using the same peeler. Not only on potatoes, but you can use it even if you want to peel, for example, a carrot. Hold it like this. It's a two-way peeler. You can go either side, uh, back, uh, front and back like this. You peel your, pot uh, your carrot very easy, as you can see. You can still use it whenever you want to slice your carrot for stew. It's very easy for you to slice your carrot. Even it's pl uh, plante for plante chips, it's very easy for you to slice. You can still use the peeler whenever you want to peel even soft things like cucumbers, courgettes. It's very easy. Popo, mango. You can just peel your food without wasting time in your kitchen. As you can see here, even if it's plante, eh, bananas, just peel them without wasting time in the kitchen. You can still use this peeler to slice eh, your, uh, your cucumber if it's banana for banana crisps. Eh? Plantain chips, as you can see here. Even if they are soft things like cucumbers, just hold your cucumber if you want to peel. It can peel any size, eh? anything, if, however soft it is. Even if it's a mango or popo, you can just peel it however ripe it is. Use it to slice your cucumbers for salads. It's very easy, very fast, as you can see. You can also use it even if you want to peel, for example, an orange. Hold your orange and roll it in your hand like this. You can peel your orange very easy, as you can see here, using the same blade. You can still use this part here. Use the other part. 
make lines from up going down like this eh? just make lines on your orange from up going down and then you open up the tips like this use the handle follow the lines from up going down you will peel your orange without wasting time in the kitchen you can still use the same blade whenever you want to shred your cabbage for coleslaw just follow the edge of the cabbage you shred very fine cabbage for coleslaw as you can see so this is a multi-purpose peeler when you buy this pillar in the package, you'll get two shredders like this to complete a set of three pieces. Both of them do the same work. The difference is just the size of the blade. You can use these pillars whenever you want to prepare your salad. The blue one will give you thicker shreds of carrot. Whenever you're preparing your salad at home, it's very easy if you have this hand grater. You can grate your fine ca carrot for salad. If you see this carrot is too thick, you can change the red one. This red one gives you very fine shreds. The difference for these two is just the thickness you get. The only difference is just the thickness you get. As you can see here, the blue one for thicker size and the red one for, eh, for thin sizes. That's the only difference. Not only on uh, carrots, but even cucumbers, courgettes. For example, it's a, it's a potato you're preparing baby food. You don't have to pound your potatoes. You can just grate them like this. Very easy. So it's very convenient for your kitchen. As you can see here, if you have these three pieces in your, in your kitchen, you can prepare your food very easy. It's in a package like this one here. Sir? Um, you've visited some stalls here at uh, the trade fair. This is a uh, uh, trade fair that usually is organized every two years. Um, what is your impression of the trade fair this, so far? Uh, well, what I've seen uh, this year uh, gives me the impression that there has been some improvement on what I've seen in previous years. I was here two years ago, uh, as you said. And uh, I've seen some of the same uh, exhibits again this year and noticed some, some improvements in presentation and in the actual products they, 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 they put on sale. What about the team for this year's trade fair, made, uh, promoting Made in Gambia products and services? How do you see this theme? No, no, that, that slogan, Made in the Gambia, really is a, is a very good uh, theme because this is what should encourage, this should be what we really what the nation really wants. We want to make things, not just to, uh, to use uh, matters produced in other countries. We want to produce and export. So Made in the Gambia is a very good slogan, and I think it, it should encourage all the exhibitors and the uh, people generally uh, to support the, this uh, trade fair, which, which um, promotes that kind of thinking and, and uh, to try and change the mentality of producers and, and so on. Finally, sir, I'm sure you haven't been to some of the places uh, where you have known Gambian business operators um, setting up stalls, um, but I'm sure you have seen it on TV. What is your impression of um, the 